Hey everybody, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Today we're playing Team Z again. This is the third installment in this series I'm making. This is an early access game on Steam. It came out on November 2nd. So far it's pretty fun. Um, you know, it's got some early access issues, like this. You can't... Here, watch this. It's it's. So you can see his arm right there. You know, just small stuff like that. The sights don't really work at all, but luckily hip firing is super accurate and very effective, so I've just been doing that. Um, we had a boss fight in the last episode. It was kind of cool. It was a huge zombie with a car strapped to his back for armor. But um, yeah, if you, if you like this, please like the video. Give it a little thumbs up and subscribe. We'll be making more of these. So we're starting here. This We've died twice so far. This is our third our third life, I guess, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> We've survived, I think, seven waves of zombies, although I can hear some in the environment around us. And so, in the last episode, I, I came to the realization that uh, this is the game. This is, um, you're in this village, and I, I guess I misinterpreted the description of the game, but you're in this village, you have to talk to people... Um, ask them questions, find out who you are, where you're from, and probably get a clue to where you can go, you know, to escape this. And the whole time you're fighting off waves of zombies. And so that's, that's the game. I'm not sure how much replayability that offers, but um, I haven't played the f first playthrough, so I'm not sure how long it takes to do. Okay, let's get back there. And so, yeah, oh, I survived... Eight waves already. That's impressive. No, it's not. But um, I'm just getting this desk out of here. Yes. Oh, what is that? That looks oh, completely worthless. I thought it was um like a key to a safe or to this door over here. So that's a bug right there. So sometimes when I uncrouch, it just like springs me up into the air. And so to pick things up... It helps to just, like, switch between your melee weapons. I don't know what the hell that was. Can I... See, a lot a lot of these videos um, is going to be just discovering what the bugs are. Which is unfortunate, but it is early access. That's, you know... <laughs> that was awesome! Can I have some more of those? And again, uh, sh headshots don't really seem to do more damage than um, body shots. Let's, so what I really want is to break open this crate and get whatever's in there. Oh, cool. Ammo. Whoa, a lot of stuff over here. Probably from killing all those guys with an explosion. That kind of stuff. What, what just happened? Why did it jettison me into the air? I don't know. Early access. It's just reasonable to expect those things. And I'm picking things up that I haven't even seen on the ground. Right now we're looking for a teddy bear and bug spray. Those are our quests. The teddy bear is for this little girl who looks like she's some J-pop superstar. Fresh from uh, some cosplay event. And then... Man, the, the environment is really sticky. Like, why can't I get through there? The glass is obviously broken. Well, and then the other one, the other quest is... Get out of the way. The other quest is from the butcher. Um, he's a French dude who I think is using zombie meat. Um, to, to, and he's selling it. He's preparing it and selling it. And we need pesticides for him. Which is strange. Long distance headshots guaranteed. Yeah, if you can see, this is a huge problem in this game. I mean, cool sniper rifle, headshots, maybe. I think it'd be better just to do it with uh, the crosshairs and hip fire. Oh, hand grenades. Let's go get that creeper nest down here, or the biter nest. If I can see, like, why can't I run off of here? There we go. Oh, you want to revive? Sure, I can revive you. Is this the guy who was just running around in his underwear before? You are as new 
he found a hazmat suit. No, it's not the same guy. The other, that's a white guy. Um, okay, so where was the creeper nest? Back here, right? With the biter nest? Or what is it over here? No, I think it was down here. On the way, we'll get whatever's in this box. Oh, okay. Take that. One of the, the things... Oh. Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Is it? Oh, okay. Use button to enable. Electric fence trap. Oh, get off the trap. Um, I'll leave that going for now, but I think that's going to be worse for me than for the zombies. Like, I just grunted. I, what is happening? Why are you grunting, sir? Come back here, get stuff. There was an auto turret that I put up right here. I kind of want to explore that more, but there's just so much going on in this game. Um, I just keep getting sidetracked, and it's been tough for me to focus on one thing and get it done. What's up there? Yeah, what is up there? Right here. The ladder, you just kind of accelerate up, which is interesting. There's money. Why did he say, what is up there? Can I go across the trees? No. That's realistic. <laughs> you just kind of accelerate up the ladder, and <laughs> that's the way I climb ladders. Oh. That. This looks useful. Like it's going to be handy to be up here. Oh. <laughs> it would have been handy, huh? That would be a cool weapon if I could grab that chainsaw. I cannot. Um, I think we just broke it. Just by falling through the roof. Because I... Hmm. Hmm. As the butcher says. Can I kill this dude? Yeah. Maybe if I interact with him? No. I'm just trying to get out of here, and I was thinking that if I interacted with him, then, uh, oh, this is frustrating, then it might put me on the other side of the glass, um, just by default is that being, like, the interaction location for the player. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a grenade here and kill myself, hopefully. Oh, man, I'm gonna be waste. That's a, that's a bummer. I'm wasting the grenades that I was gonna use, uh, to close up that biter nest, and I, just to kill myself and reset it. Let's do this. That's an interesting part about this game. Is that when you respawn, you just you respawn there. What's not interesting is all the bugs. Some of them game breaking. And now I, I think I'm out of grenades, but there's no way to tell from... I, I don't think. Oh, there's one. Awesome. Did I, did I just... Can I get... Can I just... Just grab... Okay. <laughs> oh, you can just push the auto turret? Oh, that sucks. Because that means the zombies can just run into it. That's alright. Hopefully it'll kill them before they get there. And I don't have any metal parts. I have, I have one. I need to find some metal parts for this. Oh, that looks really useful. A bunch of barrels up there. Okay. Right now we're looking for that biter nest. I could have sworn I was close to it over there. And now I'm just running around like an idiot trying to find... The biter nest. Am I missing something? I could have sworn it was on the left side. Oh, maybe it's over. 
I just got caught on the wall there. Okay. This looks good. I got the shotgun. Come on. Come on. Okay, grenade into the biter nest. That looks good. It would have been cool to have gotten a reward for that. Just like a quest completion. I just revived two guys at a time. Or a man and a woman. There's the shirtless wonder. I don't really know what the NPCs do, because I, I just stumble upon them and they're already dead. So I don't know if they actually help at all. Um, well, they're certainly not helping right now. What is this guy? Gym boy. What the? Oh, that's scary. AR. Oh, no. Wait, so if you just reset, it just reloads your weapon. So the shotgun's number seven, and I just press seven. It's like an instant reload. Watch. That's a grunt. Holy cow. We're going to go to eight. AR. Eight. Instant reload. What is that thing? Nobody knows. Oh, it's right there. You can shoot through walls. He looks dead, right? Okay. Yeah, one of the tool tips, tips said that ammo is scarce. Or maybe the game description on Steam, but it's certainly not scarce. I'm just trying to pick this stuff up. There we go. It's like you have to choose, like, the magically correct melee weapon, and then you get your face really close, and you never know which melee weapon it's going to be. Um, stuck on the wall. Brutal. Crowbar. Axe. I'm crouching. No, I'm not crouching. That was the problem. So this game... I, I've said it before, I'll, I'll just reiterate. I think it has a lot of promise. It needs some polishing. Um, the movement is a big issue. Uh, the weapon selection, instant reload. Um, the weapon aim down sights. Um, this, you, you cannot, this is the aim down sights. It zooms in for some reason. And I picked up a sniper rifle, that SVD. Is that supposed to be it? And it's not here now? That's an issue. I don't need a silenced pistol, I don't think. Um, unless, I haven't noticed it, but the zombies are attracted to noise. I have no reason to believe that they would be, even though that's the you know common lore in movies and stuff, because um, so far headshots don't seem to do any extra damage. Which would be the lore, and it's not following that. Just move, man. I've been looking around for a while to find that teddy bear, and I cannot find it. And the pesticides, and I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. I pressed control to uncrouch or whatever. It's a guessing game. Let's see, where haven't I really been? Up? No, I have been up there. That's closed. Okay, we're going to go back. I think the shop is over here. We're going to get those auto turrets. It'll... Yeah, right here. Yeah, cool, I can. Uh, we're going to get the auto turrets. We're going to set them up where we haven't closed off the nests. So that way we can focus more on the quests right now. Um, so where was that pipe with the gym boy? That was over here, right? No, it was not. I think it's back there. So we're going to go find that. Put this auto turret down. See what it can do. Um, oh, I was crouching that whole time. Okay, so... I'm 
thinking right here. Oh. Oh, that's really handy. <laughs> it just shoots for me. I just walk around with this thing. It does very little damage, though. I think the shotgun does about 35. Ouch. That's fine. See, she just, or he, just totally messed up that auto turret. Oh, 20. Oh, it's like 30 per pellet. So auto turrets are, are situational. Let's we'll put it that way. So we're going to put this right here, and we're going to reload it. You just hold down R. I guess it's reloaded. I can't tell. Oh, fuel. I'm not sure what else I'm going to need that for, though. What's... Is that a crafting table? Why can't I go in there? Oh, there we go. You just have to, like, hold your tongue just right to get past... The four foot wide opening. Okay, let's go back and get that other auto turret, set it up here in the same spot. What is this? This is the part from the first episode where there were just some zombies lingering. So we'll get that auto turret set it up there by that other one, so maybe two of them. I mean, how could it be worse, right? Yeah, so two of them will be more effective. I'm, I, I'm just trying to think about the damage output and, and all that, and I don't think even two of them will be able to handle more than, like, two regular zombies at a time, let alone a big one. And so I'm getting used to all the quirks and stuff, and... um. You know, if this were a more, um, uh, a game with more intense gameplay, then then it might be an issue, like a, a bigger issue. Um, but it's not game breaking. All those little weird things that happen, like getting stuck on stuff. The zombies are not fast zombies. They're the classic slow zombies for the most part. Wave thirteen. This might sound weird, but um, this it, I'm gonna say it. My hand is tired from pressing so many buttons to overcome the stickiness um, of of the environment and the movement quirks and all that. So that might be an issue for you if you have carpal tunnel or something, or um, you just don't play games for a lot. Um, that might be a game breaker for you. Five hundred dollars. That's great. Oh, how. I'm just picking up a bunch of random stuff. That's awesome. So maybe the NPCs are doing stuff. Wow. I wonder what the maximum ammo capacity is. Who knows? Oh, I didn't press the up button, but that's all right. You do you, elevator. Right now, I'm like half going around looking for the teddy bear and half going around in areas I haven't been in a while just to pick up all the extra stuff. Let's bust open these crates. Maybe it's in a crate. A teddy bear? Maybe some idiot put it in a crate. That was weird. I was doing so well just walking around, picking stuff up, and then suddenly it stopped. Okay, ten dollars, perfect. I'm trying to think of where I have oh, revive, sure. How'd you get behind the bench? Maybe that's why you died. You laying down on the job? No problem. Just looking for this teddy bear, thinking of 
I just, I'm thinking it'll be kind of obvious. Like maybe it'll be the same color as her unicorn hat, you know, kind of purplish with some rainbow stuff. I, I know. There are some interesting oh. plants growing here. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, that kind of looks like marijuana. Yeah, I know most, most teddy bears aren't rainbow unicorns, but um, I don't know so far with this game. I have been up here. Can I get in there? Okay, oh, there's a grenade count on the right side of the screen. I just noticed that. So, the nailer... I hardly know her. Ah, no. Um, I, I can't... How do I get to it? Okay, mouse wheel goes through weapons. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think about that sooner. What is this? Nothing. This is... Okay, cool. So, I'm picking up weapons that I can't use. That's fine. The ones I have are sufficient and have been working well so far. Oh. Oh. Look at you hiding back here. And I like how you can just move the dumpster. Oh, it's no big deal. It weighs like 600 pounds, but... You just walk into it and push it. Like, push it over. Where's that teddy bear? And so, yeah, when I realized, like, wow, I'm just going to be in this village and I'm going to be getting attacked by zombies all the time, I was kind of thinking that it was going to be difficult. So far, it has not been at all. Is that a teddy bear? No. Okay. <laughs> the, the ladder fence post. Check that out. I think it's this whole area. You run into the fence and it just takes you up. I don't see a ladder on there, though. Let's try this. Look at that shortcut. That's cool. Oh, I'm crouched. I just realized. Well, I, th I think that's it for episode three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, just wander around on my own. I'm um, trying to find it. But this is Atlas Gaming. This game is Team Z. It's early access on Steam. Like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.